people are already losing power. Up to 200,000 people out of power right now. With this extreme cold air coming down from Siberia, it's gonna put the United States into a deep freeze days before Christmas. This storm is projected to challenge the records that were set all the way back in 1980s. I've got a list of these upwards of 200,000 people that are already out of power. But we're gonna quickly go over that list. And guys, remember, these are outages before the thrust of the real storm even gets here. Then I'll go over a quick list of 11 items that you guys should consider having to be prepared for a power outage. Outage. And what about your pipes in your house? We're gonna go over three tips for that and two tips on what to do immediately if your lights go out. Good information that you guys need to know just before this storm hits. Welcome back to all of our subscribers. Thanks for watching our videos. If you guys are brand new here and find value in news that affects you, prepping tips and emergency preparedness how-tos weekly, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Okay guys, so it's getting pretty serious. I'm looking at my computer and I actually have to update my thumbnail on this video because two more states have just jumped into the power outage mix. As you can see, just within the hour, Texas has popped up. California has popped up. Can't imagine what this map's gonna look like on outages next week. So if you guys missed the warning about the storm, this video right up here, I'm gonna leave it at the end of the screen and also down in the description below so you guys can please share it, get the word out, that way more people are prepared. A lot of folks in the comments are saying that this is scare tactics from the media, but if you look at that, say from the perspective of a Texan from February of 2021, I'm sure they'd tell you that we could have used all the hype up, scare tactics, and whatever it took to get their mind where it needed to be to get prepared because that storm left millions without power. So I'm looking at this map and it's not even updated yet, but California just popped up at 15,432 customers out of power. Texas just popped up at 12,195 customers out of power. And currently we have Minnesota at 47,461 customers out of power. Wisconsin's coming in at 55,214. Michigan's been on the news a lot. They're at about 16,930. We've got Pennsylvania penciled in at 14,017 customers without power. And West Virginia is at 14,549 customers without power. Virginia is at 11,351. And Florida is currently sitting at 10,078. And this was just updated around 11.30 a.m. on December 15th. Like I said, I gotta go back and change my thumbnail for this video. I also wanna tell you I've got some comments on people saying that the power grids are fine. Whether they're fine or not, the probability of our power going out regardless is probably pretty high. So if you guys wanna stay up to date on these power outages, the website is poweroutage.us. It's probably one of the most reliable sources of having up-to-date power outage information. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go over 11 items that you should consider right now to have prepped just to get you started. And then we're gonna go over three tips involving your pipes freezing in your house, and then a couple things to do immediately if your lights go out. So you don't know how long a cold snap will last. This deep freeze that we're gonna experience looks like it's gonna last quite a few days. So you wanna make sure that you have flashlights and extra batteries. Number two, battery operated radio and extra batteries. Number three, emergency non-perishable foods that do not require refrigeration. That's key, I mentioned that yesterday. Non-electric can opener. And guys, that's huge. You stock up a bunch of cans knowing that it's prepper food. And then some of these folks only have an electric can opener. Be sure to get a manual one. Bottled water. If the power goes out, the grocery stores will get ransacked. So you wanna get it before it's out, before those empty shelves are staring you in the face. One week supply of essential medicines. And that's a big thing. Last thing you wanna be doing is traveling when a storm is pounding you. Extra blankets and sleeping bags. I've told you guys this before, sleeping bags are huge. And I'm a big fan of wool and down. If you guys already have a first aid kit, make sure it has a manual in there. This one gets left out a lot and actually you can print off some online. A lot of PDF manuals out there that are available, but you need a first aid manual so you know what to do. 
fire fire extinguisher of course because if you're out of power a lot of times you're gonna have either propane heaters going wood stove going some sort of emergency heat and the last thing you need in a frigid cold emergency power outage is a fire and i'm talking about burning down your house have an emergency fire extinguisher available emergency heating equipment used properly now we have tons of videos on emergency heat I'll leave a couple links at the end and then I'll leave a long list of good videos down in the description below. And also remember, don't forget that carbon monoxide detector. And number 11, of course, a huge proponent of being prepared medically. There's still time to get a Jace case. The Jace case will cover you from infections and other ailments for getting to the pharmacy or a doctor is difficult in the emergency situation. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are concerned about your pipes freezing in your house. So with this, you may wanna consider wrapping and insulating susceptible pipes, water pipes that are either near a wall, in the attic, or crawl space, ones that have a higher probability of getting colder quicker. Number two of three, also to prevent water from freezing in pipes. You wanna turn on your faucet with a little trickle. You wanna have it dripping. The running water will help prevent it freezing. Very smart to have some RV or marine antifreeze. So with this, like here in our little self-sufficient tiny house, you wanna pour a little dribble in there. That way it settles right there in the P-trap. This is if you've turned off the water, ran your water out of the faucets, that is a place that will hold water unless you drain that specifically. And so sometimes the easiest thing is, is just to pour a little bit of that antifreeze in there. Same thing with your toilets, the upper and the toilet bowl, you wanna pour some in there. And let me show you a quick tip on the toilets. So as you see, we're set up also in here. So another thing that you can do with toilets is turn your water all the way off. Flush your toilet, get all the water out of there as much as possible. Then go back down to your knob and turn it ever so slightly so that it just trickles water. It'll take quite a while for that to fill up. And yes, you'll have to baby it. You'll have to figure out how long it takes for it to fill up, but that's a way to keep the water moving in a toilet. Number three, make sure you and your family know how to turn off your main water supply. And this is in case a pipe bursts you will start to flood. So having your entire family know where that water turn off is will prevent a lot worse situation. So two things to do immediately if the power goes out. Turn off your lights, unplug appliances as much as you can. What this is gonna do is help prevent a circuit overload for when the power gets turned back on. And also something that I just learned of is a cool little device that you can plug in that'll alarm you for when the power goes out and the power comes back on. Because sometimes you're caught off guard and you don't know that the power went out. Number two, have an emergency generator. Whether it's a solar powered, battery powered type of portable generator or a fuel type of generator. And do not operate any generators inside the house that emit carbon monoxide which is also another video that we have on the carbon monoxide detector in case you don't have one. You definitely want a battery powered carbon monoxide detector. So with that, trying to keep you guys up to date, we've got lots of options of videos. Check out the description below, but I thought this was good information for you guys to know that it's already happening. Hundreds of thousands of people already out of power and this massive Arctic blast hasn't even hit yet. It could be bad guys. Please share this video out. Leave some extra tips down below for all the newbies. Better to be prepared than scared, right? Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing, guys. We'll see you on the next one.